Feast your eyes, folks. The 1925 silent movie, The Phantom of the Opera, featuring the iconic Lon Chaney, is a legendary masterpiece filled with secrets, suspense, and scandal. From its chaotic creation to Chaney's mysterious acting, this film has kept viewers and history buffs on the edge of their seats. Brace yourself for 13 juicy, jaw-dropping facts that peel back the curtain on the thrilling tale of this cinematic gem. Chaney's horrific phantom makeup. Chaney, known as the Man of a Thousand Faces, created his own ghastly makeup using techniques that included inserting fish skin into his nose and using wire to pull back his nose and lift his cheeks, causing him great discomfort throughout filming. The most expensive silent film at its time, Universal Studios took a massive financial risk with The Phantom of the Opera, investing around $2 million, a staggering sum for the era. This high-stakes gamble was meant to cement Universal's place in Hollywood history. The Phantom stage at Universal Studios, known as Stage 28, was not demolished until 2014 to accommodate theme park expansions. However, before the stage was raised, the Phantom set was disassembled and subsequently preserved in studio storage. Initial audience reactions were terrible. The first test screening in Los Angeles was a disaster with audiences laughing at serious moments and criticizing the convoluted plot. This prompted the studio to make significant changes, delaying the release. A revolving door of directors. Rupert Julian, the original director, clashed with Cheney and the crew, leading to Julian's departure. The film saw multiple directors, including Edward Sedgwick and an uncredited Cheney himself stepping in to salvage the project. The film underwent significant re-editing, resulting in multiple versions. Some original footage is considered lost, and various cuts were released over the years, each with different scenes and endings. Authentic bones for added horror. To enhance the eerie atmosphere of the catacombs, real human skeletons were allegedly used this macabre choice added to the film's authenticity and controversy. Cheney's refusal to promote. Cheney was notoriously secretive about his makeup techniques and refused to engage in promotional activities. His elusive nature added to the film's mystique but frustrated studio executives. Genuine fear among cast members. Cheney's intense and terrifying performance, combined with his grotesque appearance, caused genuine fear among the cast. Mary Philbin, who played Christine, was reportedly horrified during their unmasking scene, her reaction utterly real. Cuts due to excessive horror. The film faced censorship issues due to its intense horror elements. Scenes considered too frightening or gruesome were cut or altered for various regional releases. The dramatic unmasking scene. The unmasking scene, one of the most iconic moments in silent film history, was kept a closely guarded secret. Cheney insisted on the first take being a surprise to capture authentic reactions from the cast. In several scenes, including the famous unmasking, the Phantom's cape mysteriously appears and disappears between shots, a continuity slip that eagle-eyed viewers love to spot. Transition to sound films. As one of the last great silent films, the Phantom of the Opera marked the end of an era. Its success demonstrated the power of silent storytelling, even as the industry rapidly transitioned to talkies. The 1925 Phantom of the Opera is more than just a film. It's a cinematic legend filled with behind-the-scenes drama, artistic genius, and groundbreaking horror. Its controversies and triumphs continue to fascinate, ensuring that the Phantom's haunting presence endures in the annals of film history. Thanks for watching, folks! If you liked this video, subscribe for more!